Hello everyone! Today is a special day. We were going to have another session for high school entrance exam review, which you can use for Philippine Science High School, Review, Manila Science High School, Angeles City Science High School, or even with Ateneo entrance exam, La Salle. I'm Ofelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. I taught at Philippine Science High School for 18 years. I was the head of the math department for a time. I also taught at Savior School, Mari School, and Ateneo de Manila High School. Okay, let's start. Number one. Given 56 over x equals 7 over 3, what is x? Okay, in situations or equations like this, what you can do is for you to cross multiply. So you cross multiply 7 and x, you will be getting 7 times x and multiply also 56 times 3 and then at this point do not multiply this because it will be longer it will be easier if you divide both sides by 7 there cancel 7 here so x is equal to use cancellation 56 divided by 7 is 8 there 7 divided by 7 is 1 Oh, so, 8 times 3 is 24 over 1, which is 24. So, the answer is 24, and that is letter C. Now, let me give you a practice for this. Let us say another example. You are given 8 over 5 or 8 fifths equals x over 13. What will you do? So, Multiply 5 and x, so we get 5x equals 8 times 30. Then, as I've said, do not uh, multiply this yet. No? Divide by 5, both sides, because it will be easier and faster if you divide it first by 5. Try to see if there's something which is cancelable here, here just like here. 30 divided by 5 is 6. Then 6 times 8 is 48. There, that's how you do it. By the way, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like. Thank you. Next, problem number 2. Find the missing number. Negative 4, blank, 2, 5. Okay. So if we have here negative 4, blank, 2, and 5, since these two are already existing, so you can uh, get the difference. So what do we add to 2 to get 5? We add 3. And then try to see if, let us say you add 3 here, you will get 2. Okay, so what do you add to 3 to get 2? That will be negative 1. Check again. Negative 1 plus 3 is that 2 check there and then try to check this if i add three to negative four will i get negative one yes so negative four plus three equals negative one that would mean the final answer is really negative one which is letter a there next problem problem number three Evaluate 4a squared minus b, where a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 8. So a is equal to 4. It was written here, just to make it clear. So, when you say evaluate, it would mean that you should get the value of this expression. So, substitute the given values. A is 4, so substitute 4 here, you'll be getting 4 
squared minus b is a. Now, at this point, you have to use PEMDAS. What is PEMDAS again? P stands for parentheses, then E, exponentials, M, multiplication, D, division, A, addition, subtraction. This is from left to right, whichever comes first. Now, following PEMDAS, you see that you have to do the exponentials first. 4 squared is 16. Then, there, copy 4 minus 8. Then this is subtraction and this is multiplication. What are you going to do first? The multiplication, remember the M, multiplication, comes before the subtraction. So multiply these two first, 16 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24, carry 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2, 6. So you have here 64 minus 8. Oh, what is 64 minus 8? Oh, 14. 4 minus 8 cannot be. Make this 14. 14 minus 8 is 6. And since you borrowed 1 here, this becomes 5. So the answer is 56, which is letter A. Now, what if, what if you, you did not follow the PEMDAS rule? Let us just uh, study that again. If we have 4 times 4 squared minus 8, and let us say you did follow the PEMDAS rule. You, let's say, multiply these two first. You got 4 times 4 is 16, then you square it minus 8. 16 squared is 256. Okay, let me show that. Memorize ko na kasi. <laughs> 6 times 6, 36, carry 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3. 9, 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. Add them, 6, 15, carry 1, that's 256. Minus 8. There, minus 8. Oh. 6 minus 8 cannot be, borrow 1, this becomes 16, this is minus 1, 4. 16 minus 8 is 8, 4, 2, 248. As you can see, 248 is different from 56, so the answer is wrong. Now, let us say again, still, you didn't follow the fem PEMDAS rule. Mm. Let us say here you got it right. You copied 4, 4 squared is 16 minus 8. But here you subtracted 16 minus 8 or you subtracted 8 from 16. So you get here 16 minus 8 is 8 times 4. See, the answer is still not correct. 4 times 8 is 32. Whereas if you use the PEMDAS rule, you will get 56. So I just stress the importance of PEMDAS rule here. That's why I did it not following the PEMDAS rule. For you to, to really remember and to follow the PEMDAS rule first. Next problem, we have problem number four. Danny can eat one apple in just four minutes, while Adam can do it in seven minutes. How many apples can they both eat in 14 over 15 hours? Take note of this, huh? this is minutes, this is hours. So in mathematics, when you compute the units must be consistent, okay? So Danny can eat apple in four minutes. That would mean Danny's rate is one work in four minutes. Well, Adam can do it in seven minutes. This is Adam's rate in seven minutes. Both of them will be working because it says here, how many apples can they both? So both of them are working. So I add their rates, right? So this is going to be the rate times the time. They can eat in 14 over 15 hours. Take note of that. This is hours. But these are in minutes. Okay? So, we have to 
convert this into minutes. How do we do that? One, mi one hour, remember, is 60 minutes. So therefore, we have to multiply this by 60 minutes over one hour there so we cancel hours and hours we're now left with minutes and this is also in minutes so they are now consistent oh we can now cancel 60 and 15 they are divisible by 15 15 divided by 15 is 1 60 divided by 15 is 4 there so now we have here 4 times 14 what is that 14 times 4 4 times 4 is 16 carry 1 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 so 4 times 14 is 56 there times times add this two. how do we add fractions find the LCD LCD of 7 and 4 is 28. Then you divide. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 7 times 1 is 7. In other words, you just multiply by 7 over 7. Repeat, 28 divided by 4 is 7. There. Times 1. So 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 28 divided by 7 is 4, so let's multiply 4 over 4 here. 4 times 1 is 4, 7 times 4 is 28. Since the denominators of this now are equal, we can now copy the denominator and then add the numerator. 7 plus 4 is 11 and multiply it by 56. Now, can we cancel... Or can we simplify 28 and 56? I'll just write here 1 to make sure that you're not uh, confused. Mm. 56 and 28. Is there any common factor of 56 and 28? They are both divisible by... Can we try 14? 28 divided by 14 is 2. What about 56? There. How, how did I know that 14 is a common factor? Because I remembered a while ago that 14 times 4 was 56. So 56 divided by 14 now gives you a 4. But wait. What do you see now? We can still cancel 2 and 4, right? So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Uh, is there still anything which is cancelable? Nothing. So we can now multiply 2 and 11. We get 22. This is now in minutes. There. So our final answer is 22. That gives us letter C. Next problem. Problem number 5. Oh, Yahoo! This is the last one for this session. The age of three boys is in the ratio of four is to three is to two. If the age of the oldest is 12, how old is the youngest? When you're given a ratio of four is to three is to two, well, this would mean that this is four parts, this is three parts, and this is two parts. And then four is the biggest, so this must be the the for the oldest and two is for the youngest right we want to find the age of the youngest now the the oldest is it says in the problem is 12 so that would mean this is for 12 for the oldest so 12 now is four parts so to solve for that particular part you simply divide by 4 so 12 divided by 4 is 3 3 per part but the youngest has two parts therefore 
you multiply this 3 by 2, you get 6. The age of the youngest is 6. So the final answer is letter B. There, we're done with review number 15 of Philippine Science High School or any high school entrance exam review. Always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Bye!